PussyBubble.com. Page 1. Bursting the Pussy Bubble by Jonathan O'Toole. In the mid-1990s, Yale economist Robert Schiller predicted the dot-com bubble would burst. Gerald Salente predicted the 1987 stock market crash and the 2008 housing bubble burst. Peter Schiff also predicted the housing bubble and is predicting a worse crash to come. Paul Craig Roberts is currently predicting the collapse of the dollar and the bond market. But all of these economic forecasters have failed to see or failed to warn anyone about the biggest bubble of all, the pussy bubble, also known as the wench bubble. What is the pussy bubble? The pussy bubble is the hyped, exaggerated, and otherwise grossly inflated value of the Western female. Thanks to unprecedented wealth and economic hegemony, as the United States emerged the victor from World War I, the American pussy, viewed by the world largely through the lens of Hollywood and the Western media, effectively became the ideological reserve pussy of the world. And her mythical standard of life, the American dream, became the standard against which all other women of all other cultures were bullied into comparing the realities of their own lives, their relationships, and their standards of living. Over the course of the 20th century, the Western female would claw her way to apparent dominant super-sex status, beginning, arguably, with the suffragette movement and the incremental normalization of contraception, and culminating in 1973 when the American pussy obtained from the U.S. federal government, the Supreme Court, the godlike right to choose whether anyone will be born dead or born alive. But, as I will demonstrate, this power grab, like that of Eve in the Garden of Eden, was predicated from a monstrous lie, which would inevitably result in horrific death and suffering. The American pro-life movement, at first manifesting a seemingly growing determination to impose, uh, to interpose, to arrest the now murderous power of the American pussy, through things like Operation Rescue, was finally bullied into submission when President Clinton signed into law the Freedom of Access to Clinic Entrances Act, otherwise known as FACE. The American pussy's husband, at this time, uh, who was Uncle Sam, threatened American Christians with federal felonies if they peacefully blockaded abortion clinics. So the nonviolent civil disobedience movement to restrain baby murder died at this point and was quickly replaced by a castrated pro-life movement ready to whine and bitch and grovel at the feet of the new goddess, the American pussy, for decades to come.